Before the start of this video, I got a huge announcement to make. I'm doing a free webinar on Plaptu. It's going to be talking about my whole journey throughout this entire thing and about Plaptu and some of the most important things that I've learned on Plaptu, mainly the things such as interpersonal skills, which I'm going to go in depth with. Who is this webinar for? For everybody. Whether you're thinking about Plab, whether you're doing IELTS, whether you're in your Plab 1 or Plab 2, this is for everyone and it's completely free so you might as well join. How do you join the webinar? You go into the description box below and click on the telegram link. Join my official telegram group and follow the instructions over there and sign up and register for my Plab 2 webinar. The webinar is going to be on 3rd of July and I hope to see all of you guys there. Now, let's get into the video. Hey guys, what's up? So the day is finally here. I mean, okay, it's not the day of the exams. My exams are actually tomorrow. So today I'm actually going to Manchester. So that's the city where my exams, Plap 2 is going to be held. So I'm actually going a day before, you know, because it's easy to go there. Just got a place over there, gonna go there, settle down and relax, you know. That way the next day I'm fresh and I just need to get up and leave instead of like thinking I'm getting a train and stuff. So, Let's go, I'll keep you guys with me. I've got my passport and the PLAP2 confirmation email. I think those are the two most important documents. So I've got them. Let's go. early here at the airport and uh, sorry the train station and uh, we still have like an hour to go but it's never too never harms to be early so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get some coffee chill out and uh, once the train comes I think in an hour's time I think I'll head off into the train let's go I came to the Airbnb that I'm staying. That's the bed. Okay, it's it's quite all right. It's a, it's a. I mean, there's a table for me to study. I don't know if I'll be studying tonight. I just have one day. A bed. A place to keep my clothes. Oh, the cameras. There you go. Better. Okay. And then I've got my. Got my own private washroom. Not bad. <laughs> okay, now I need to go to find out where the GMC building is. So tomorrow I know where I need to go. No surprises that way. Um, let's go. I mean, I don't know if I'll be able to do any studying today, but most likely if I can read a bit, I will. Otherwise, the work's done. Okay, so I have found the place where the GMC building is. Just wanted to make sure. So just in quick, this is the place. It says 3 Hardman Street. And if you notice, right over there, that's the GMC. I'm actually waiting for my friends to show up, so I'm just gonna wait for them. <laughs> there you guys are. Finally. Yeah, I saw that. It's on my wonder wall. How's it going, brother? How you doing? All right. What's up, yeah, we are missing you in the train. Hey, how's it going? Good. You did you you guys you guys did miss me on the train, right? Of course. Of course. Missed me in the train. Yeah. Miss you both. So you guys seen where the building is? Yes, it's no. here. This oh, is the building. Still? This is the building. That's the one, so that's the Rabbi Smith building. Alright, so we know where it is now, so it's all come down to tomorrow. Yes. Let's go. The way Aziz is holding his camera, people think that he's offering them to take a picture of him. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> 
So what we're gonna do is, uh, he wants to go and study. So I think we'll just go ahead and like meet within like two hours, and then go ahead for dinner. So let's see. See you guys later, all right? See you. All right. Tomorrow all right. Cool. Morning. Actually, no. We're gonna meet for dinner. So we're gonna head off now. We're gonna, my friend wants to study, so we're gonna go ahead and meet him at seven o'clock. Well, it's evening now. If you don't know, look at that. Anyways, it's evening now, so I just came back and I got to studying a little bit. Well, just went through the last bit of notes, just like for the last minute, say just to see what's going on. Um, I'm ready, you know. Even though like there are just like any exams, you know, you know, you're not, you can't remember everything, but you know, deep down, you're good, you're ready. So it's just now for me to just relax, have a good night's sleep, go tomorrow and shine. All right, let's go for now. Let's go have some dinner. Wow, check that fountain out. Beautiful, isn't it? Whoa. So where are we going? She's the person who knows everything. My Lahore. Okay. I know what that is, but let's go. Since you're not coming to Lahore, I'm taking you to my Lahore. Double decker, double. They, don't, they don't announce we need. So maybe we can just put it on the map? Yeah, I'll put it, I have put it on the map. Okay, great. Streets of Manchester, so nice. Really nice? So, like, um, empty. empty, yeah. There it is, my Lahore. That's the place. A couple of brown people found food. That's good enough. Like so we got the biryani here. We got the butter chicken there. We got some freaking naan and like some raita, chuyen, naan. People generally hold roses like that. <laughs> we ate our freaking bellies out. We're tired now. Just need to get some rest. We need to get things. Get some rest. And get up fresh tomorrow. Great. We'll see you guys tomorrow. What's up guys? How you guys doing? So, just really quick what I got, want to tell you guys. Went for the exams and that was crazy. I mean, one second. So, went for the exams and uh, God, the time just inside flies and you're like going case after case, case after case, so many things going on. Um, I think overall I did okay. I mean, well, there were a couple of you know, things here and there that I could have done. I don't remember doing any big blunders, but definitely there were things I could have done better. But it's, it's difficult, you know, because, you know, it's an exam, so, you know, so many things can go right, so many things go wrong. I continuously tried to be nice to the patient. I was considerate, I was talking. Um, I don't think I missed any case. I tried to take a proper history, and uh, it was okay, you know? I mean, overall, I'm just happy that it's done with. I really worked hard for it. So now, just gonna relax, enjoy a bit of UK, and come back. And then hopefully within one month, we'll get the news.